so I'm surfing the internet and it says that Detroit's broke. Oh no, Detroit is broke. So I figure I'm gonna help out by getting rich and I find a treasure map. And the treasure map leads me to Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. So I get to go to Detroit through the Winds of Detroit Tunnel. Oh man, this is so cool. And then I'm in beautiful downtown Detroit. There's lots of people parking all over the place. And there's like tons of people all just kind of standing around. And then there's like fire and people just start running. And they're just running. And running. And running. And there's these obstacles that you have to go over to find the treasure. Some of them aren't so bad. But then there's this lake. And I gotta get over. I can see the treasure must be just on the other side of this lake. So I gotta swim out to the, the raft, and get on the raft, and get onto the other side. The water's so cold, it shrinks your testicles up to the size of acorns. Terrible! But the water underneath looks so beautiful, like there's a big beautiful ocean in there. So I decide I'm gonna get to that treasure. I'm just gonna jump right in. Oh, I must be dreaming. It's beautiful. What? What is this? What are you doing? Oh, Kwame, is that you? Detroit's former kleptocratic ex-convict party throwing mayor? No, I'm just make-believe, but what are you doing to your video? Well, Kwame, my GoPro camera died halfway through the run, and I have to improvise to finish the film. Well, this is just plain stupid, and this is no way to save Detroit. Is the answer love, cooperation, and friendship? Hell no! Demolish the derelict buildings and give the land to the people who live there. Except that Detroit won't get back to its 1.2 million people. It won't? No, it won't. Except that Detroit has to diversify the way from the big three. Look what Pittsburgh did. It's not the steel town anymore. It survived, and Detroit can survive too. Attract people, attract investment. Try urban farming, forgive the debt, and forget all these big bailouts. Oh, what? Hey, wake up and cut the grass.